Hey guys, Spartan here. Welcome back to the No Gold Estate. Now, going into the ruins this time, uh, going to grab these five deeds and trigger an All Saints Day event so I can hopefully cure some stress. I mean, it's not necessary. I have like two characters with stress, but still. Um, skills. I, I do want to get some more skills. Uh, I got Reynolds' Inspiring Cry, and that's all I did until I realized, oh, I should probably do this on screen. Or on... yeah, yeah, on screen. So, uh, I want to get Duelist Advance for Dismas, because Duelist Advance is uh, an incredible move. It's much better than Open Vein, anyway. And, uh... Actually, do I have any moves then? I can use the front slot? No. Well... Guess I'm getting either Wicked Slices or Point Blank. Eh, you know what, Point Blank's better. I'm not gonna upgrade any of them, because why would I? So, I'll keep... I probably don't even need Pistol Shot. I'll keep these four moves on him, for now. Mostly because Duelist Advance is really good early game, because Repost has a set accuracy of 90 always. Doesn't matter how much you level it up. But yeah, for now, I guess that will do... I thought I sorted by level before. Oh, I guess it was because it counted the people in the mission. Right, so Reynolds the highest level. I probably don't want to bring him out right now. Because, I mean, he's still the useful... Oh wait, no, that did that in revo reverse order. Reynold and Dismas are pretty high level. So this will give three experience. I don't want to level up my characters too quickly, but leveling from one to two... Ugh. Doesn't really matter. So... If I am going to be bringing out Dismas, which, you know what, I probably won't bring out Dismas. I'll, I'll bring the Plague Doctor. I'll bring the Leper, maybe. It's still fine. You know what? How much is upgrading a skill? It's only like 300 gold, right? That's a weapon. Not a skill. I will upgrade Chop, then, just for 5 accuracy. I mean, if I really had the gold, I'd get Solemnity, because it's a really good skill for self-recovery. But I don't. At least not right now. And do we need a healer? I could get Solemnity and then... Actually, no, I, I, I need some sort of healer. I guess I will bring the Vestal then. Right. Trinkets. Obviously, Warrior's Cap for you. The Hellion could use a bit more dodge. There's a character whose speed doesn't really matter. I guess you could say the Leper. Then again, outspeeding skeletons could be pretty important, considering it is like the Ruin. You know what? I'm pretty sure that doesn't matter. Debuff Amulet. Do we even have any debuffs on our team? We have none here. We do not have Intimidate. Uh, none of his skills, I mean her skills, debuff. We have Illumination, which does minus 20 dodge, but that's about it. And I don't think I'll ever be using that, because she's not going to be moved upwards. So, yep, yeah, that's fine. Right, let's go. I was considering doing the other quest and getting the Bloodthirst Ring, because... Food costs a lot. I mean, that's... 12, that's 750... Or 6 is... It, it, it's a lot. In fact, I, I don't know how much I should actually be bringing. Maybe I should bring a key. If I do get head trinkets... You know what, fine, I'll bring one key. Because if I do get some head trinkets, I can sell them, and they are... Well, they used to be worth one gold to sell, but now they are worth, like, 2,250. Meaning, if I can just repeatedly get Barristan's head and sell it off, I'll be in a pretty good financial situation for now. The other option is I could just get the bank, but power I don't symbols. really want to, because like the bank is overpowered. The and again, I kind of will need to abuse overpowered things. That's a good start. Immediately, uh, the... Also, heirloom crates will be much better than just sacks. That was a very eventful hallway. I wouldn't say it's overall good or bad, though. So yeah, thank god we got a uh, Seer Stone, because the Seer Stone is honestly the most powerful, uh, one of the most overpowered uh, features in the game, that's uh, scouting. When when you, like, when someone asks you what is the thing that makes Dark Runs viable, it isn't like, oh, 
moon cloaks or moon rings. No, the thing that makes dark runs viable is scouting, so that you don't get ambushed. Like, ambushes are the only real downside for uh, dark runs most of the time. Sure, the enemy has a bit more damage and accuracy, but overall, I don't think it matters too much. Uh, 5 to 10. Of course, it's 5. 8 to 16. I'll be able to use Hugh next turn if he outspeeds the skeletons. Oh, let's get a stun on you. That's another move I should probably upgrade, Dazzling Light, just for its uh, extra stun chance. Okay, you're dead, you're gonna be not dead, but... A dizzying blow to body and brain. That was a bit of a delayed uh, speak, speaking pattern right there, Wayne. It didn't stun the cultist brawl. Well, at least the leper's dodging. It's doing what the team should. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Alright. Well, they're both dead now. Which means I can do whatever I want. Which mostly means that I'm going to... Like, um, what's the word? Is the weapon that Stall out until I can do a heal. Because that's an extra 6 HP, which is good. That's zero crit there. Decimated. That was... Oh, no, that was a gem. I was like, oh, there was no gold there, but no emeralds are gems. So, of course. There's a secret door. It's just what I wanted. A uh, room battle with Curio, so it's not a quest location. Alright. Game is still stuttering. Don't know why. Maybe it does... Maybe my external or dispose... Not disposable. Detachable drive is bad. Alright. Go big or go home. Please give me three head trinkets. Garbage. Well, that was a waste of time. That is like one of the most uncomfortable things you can see. It's like, oh hey. Free like... 13,500 gold. Back to the pit. Back to the pit with it. I upgraded shot, man. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. They're spiders. They got 15 dodge. It's not that much. At least the Plague Doctor is uh, keeping up with the pace. Times like this that make me really wish I had Solemnity. There we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, and you remind yourself that RNG is the exception and not the rule. At least it should be. The pack contains a map. No, just kidding, it's loot. And by loot, I mean garbage that I can't use most of the time. Look at all this holy water that I have. I didn't bring any of it. Well, that's the first time plague grenades missed. I'm honestly surprised. Uh, plague grenade accuracy is 95. But then again, backliners do have a lot of ac not accuracy, dodge. Come on, you have Slayer of Unholy. You should be hitting these, no problem. Alright, take a turn off this guy, just in case I get knocked back. Another one falls. Tempting Goblet again. It's fine, I'm gonna get some stress relief after this. Okay, man. That's just... Unreasonable. Well, I guess we time to chop away. I, I think these bone courtiers in the back have just been lubed up with a million cc's of KY jelly or something like that, because they should not be dodging this much. Come to the front, bitch. I'm gonna keep my health up because just safety reasons. With impunity. Okay, now you crit. 
wish the Hellions a crit buff was a bit better than plus 33% damage versus bleeding. Because that's... Honestly, that's pretty situational. That's a 10% uh, 10 blight resist. That's just fair and balanced. Oh, fuck you. This fight... I'm pretty sure this fight was, like, rigged from the start or something. Because it should not have gone this badly. At least I am getting a few heals in. It at least a th actually you four to seven. Of course you hit at least a three. He didn't even need a three. He needed a two. By he I mean she. Okay, curio quest curio. Down it is. In before the sparkling eyes of youth, twisted and cloaked in malice or whatever it is. Awarded to the brave and the What's the quote that the collector that Wayne says when the collector shows up? He has multiple, I know, but still. Right. Oh my god. Right, kill you first. Because he does he hasn't had a turn yet. This Vestal is going to be destroyed soon enough. Hmm. I could stun. That doesn't actually really help me, I'm pretty sure. Health is not the issue right now. The issue is uh, the Vestal being afflicted and then screwing everyone over when it's time to camp. Thankfully, the uh, bone idiot in the back here didn't actually stress her out. Overdramatic, but I'll take it. Don't crit. Okay. Good, I say. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And just get a victor extra heal. I'll camp in this next room. Since it is a room with a quest in it and not a curio, there's a chance that there won't even be a fight in it. I'm doing this just in case I can hit it with someone in the front for some stress relief. Guess not though. Get this gold out of here. Take this curio. And then camp. A moment Good. of respite. A chance to steal oneself against the coming horrors. What do I have for stress healing? I have Revel, again. Don't know if I should be using it, but it is tempting. Hmm. Right, reflection is a no-brainer. That accuracy buff is pretty good. Sharp and spear, maybe. Uh, I could bless. I could also pray. Pray isn't that good. You know what? Self-medicate's fine, just for the stress relief. I still think revel is a bit of overkill, considering I'm going to get free stress heal later on, so I'll just buff myself for now. Fine, I'll use bless on the leper. He's not going to miss now, thankfully. Plus 25 accuracy. Of safety. I've been getting a bit lucky with uh, not being ambushed, which is nice. Hey, there's the last quest location. Good. You know what, maybe I'll get something other than gems here, even though I'm pretty sure this is only gems. Yeah. Subscribe to uh, my only gems account. At the real Spartan YT2. If only treasure the whole damn the, the real Spartan YT2 joke has gone on for so long that it's hard to remember when it originated from. I think it was originally some joke about me having an alternate account to post other garbage on called the real Spartan YT2, but that's a lie. I never had that. And there is no account by that name, I'm fairly certain. So if you see somebody on an account called The Real Spartan YT2. It's not me. In fact, I don't have accounts for many uh, different websites. I have. I've read it. Everyone knows that. YouTube, obviously. I have a Twitch account, but I don't stream on it. I stream YouTube here. I have. What else do I even have? Um. I'm not sure what else that is very important. Discord, obviously. Everyone knows that, though, when I have a Discord 
thing you can find in my about page here on YouTube. Then again, it isn't very Darkest Dungeon related, it is more so general things and memory. In fact, the shitposts channel in my Discord is more active than all the other channels combined. I don't have too many. True. But the point still stands. The main ingredient remains the same. Their formation is broken. This Plague Doctor has some good crits on that incision. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. They can be eaten. Right, I'm gonna have a quick look around before I leave. I still have plenty of food. Stress levels are low and really don't matter. Darkness That's the torchlight, I guess. Haunting the heart. Of men. In radiance, may we find victory. Just doing that for the extra scout. Alright, I guess I'll go grab this curio, whatever it is, and double back and get over here. Right. This is just humans. They aren't that dodgy, so I should have no real problem with them. Uh. I'll just focus on the front line, I guess. Let the Plague Doctor deal with those in the back. Shank is bad. It's some nasty bleed damage. It was a nasty place. I'm surprised that that does do debuffs at level 1. I'm pretty sure it's only the humans that get that. I mean, Bone Cordier does minus crit, but only at the higher levels. I'm not sure why humans get buffs on early levels. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. All right, now to douse the torchlight to get maximum loot. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, thank you, game, for not taking the gold. You salvaged the unburned torch. Now, oh wait, okay, it's actually a torch. I was gonna make a joke about how oh, there's also some gold in here. Didn't talk about that, but no. The, game decided to literally just give me torch. Which is fine. I didn't need gold anyway. That's like the one thing I don't need. A fortune waiting to be spent. It's never going to be spent, Wayne. Gold doesn't exist. Plot twist. You spent it all. On sturdy workmen. And swarthy bread. Packs laden with bread are also low on supplies, though. So, it's to be fair. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair. Um, the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Right. I could dump off the torches, but that's 15 gold lost. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do a bit of a trick. Or at least attempt to. You know what? Is it even worth me trying? No, it isn't. Uh, there's a trick you can do where, of course, you can try and force an affliction by walking backwards in complete blackness and attempt to force a virtue. Which is effectively a 60 point stress heal. But in the end. Uh, I only had like 82 stress on her, so it would require like 3 stress ticks on her. And it is random on which hero it goes to. Right, another successful mission. Light sensitive, not good. Cinemania, not good. Thanatophobia, doesn't really matter. Dachnomania, annoying. On guard is really good. Also, meditator, but whatever. No one cares about meditator. It's nothing. Take advantage of this faith-fueled charity. It will not last. Oh, I just realized it's week five, and uh oh my fucking god, you moron. Uh how much is it gonna take me to get another slot? Well, there goes most of my stress healing. Thank you very much, caretaker. Right. A little hope. Upgrade this place then. Desperate. Is never without word. She has Meditator, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, Transept gives more stress relief anyway. There are no words. God fucking caretaker. Jesus. Right, Night Owl, Stress Foster, Fear of Beasts. Not really anything. Why does everybody have soft now? Oh, unerring is good, especially for an abomination. 
The only downside of the Abomination is you have to upgrade a lot of skills to keep him. Hmm. And next week is, uh, week f Well, it would have been week 5, but it's gonna be week 6. Which means that, uh, I'm going to get a Flagellant next week. Guaranteed, because I have, a uh, Flagellant enabled. Nairing and Warren's Folk. Do I want him? Probably not, actually. While the Abomination is good, uh, the main thing that makes him good is... Really? I'm getting a Berserk Charm offered to me. That's really good. Yeah, the thing that makes him really good is a uh, Broken Key, which is like one of the most broken trinkets of all time. Funny, haha. But genuinely, Broken Key is an incredible trinket that, like, you can barely go without. There's, a, there's another Berserk Charm. I would take that, except I need to get more missions open in the Cove. Because the Cove is basically where I'm going to cure all my negative quirks. So yes, let's get back to that. Reynolds, we're going to bring him out, because uh, if we can cure Kleptomaniac or Curious, that would be really good. And uh, yeah, he's just generally a good unit. I may want to upgrade something, but I have no money. Dismas. I could bring Dismas, but he doesn't have too much. Anyone have any Cove benefits? No, no. You know what? I'll bring the Hellion out again. And the occultist? He's, he's not bad, I guess. You know what? If there's one skill I need to upgrade, no. If there's one skill I need to upgrade, it should be weird reconstruction for the extra potential healing. I don't care if it gives extra bleed skill chance. Maybe I should equip the blood charm, no. You know what? I'm just going to sell this instantly because I'm never going to use that. Same with the sturdy greaves and... I'll keep the Drifter's Buckle for now. It's not that bad. Well, guess I'm bringing out a Plague Doctor again, because I have no other backliners. Right. Uh, Dodge Stone, Warrior's Cap. Uh, Reynold, you can have the Seer Stone, because it doesn't really matter. And you have Amulet. Right. On to the cove. I'm only going to bring eight food and three torch, four, four torches, one herb. Merely because, like, okay, fine, I'll bring one shovel too. Herbs, two herbs. <laughs> Indecisive about this. Usually, no matter what length of cove mission I do, I always bring a stack of herbs because there's so much stuff you can do with herbs. You can get trinkets from the... Watch McCall, it's the the dead fish. You can cure the debuffs by the stupid traps. There's just so much you can do with the uh, herbs in the cove. Also, yeah, obviously you can cure negative quirks with the coral. Right. So I'm gonna start on the very front line here, because that has the biggest blight total. Ouch. Oh well. That's fine. That isn't fine. Wow. Two sevens. I'm pretty sure those are high rolls. And that six was also a high roll. Right. Uh, since I didn't bring many torches, I'm going to want to keep the torch up. That's why Inspiring Cry is a good skill. Right. You go down. I don't want him to get another turn. Two. It's bad. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. This is the worst first fight. Probably because this is the most annoying enemy in the base game. I'd say. To be fair. Oh, come on, man, really. To be fair, the cove is meant to be uh, not too terribly easy. I forgot that gives a minus three speed. Minus two. Alright. Finish them as fast as possible. Don't eat another bad hit. Wow, seven, seven, seven. Uh, 
it was a good hit. It's good. And keep stress healing. Keep that light up to 100. A blazing star is born. Blazing star. Blazing star. No, that, that song predates me existing. I shouldn't be singing it. I'm appropriating boomer culture. No. I don't actually believe that. Another torch. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Right. 70, 60, 80. Really, 80? I guess she is level 2, so she does have the highest benefit currently. It's odd. Usually I wouldn't be using the Plague Doctor as much as this, but... Plague Doctor's damage over time just has a general benefit when you're playing stress healing. Right. More torch. That's fine. I would have preferred actually good curios, but Another torches will do. Another misfortune. You know, it's funny. I want more fights so I can keep the torch up without having to use torches, but I am keep getting fucking torch sconces. Come on, man. That's three in a row. Right. I keep saying right, that's kind of uh, another thing I say a lot. But to be fair, I'm right. Quite right. Let's uh, debuff him a bit. It's not going to do much, but... This is just the Lucky 7 episode, except it is the Unlucky 7 episode. Alright, the Occultist is very stressed. I'll try and uh, lower that down, especially since he does need some healing. Well, not really anymore, but you get the point. I think that enemy got the point. Yeah. A time to bleed again. I know, bleeding again. You know what? Those w these one heals don't seem to do much, but they are much. They stack up eventually. Maybe wondering why I stabbed him there instead of actually like uh doing something meaningful with blight. And that's because I'm actually gonna take advantage of the 33% damage versus bleeding. Oh yeah. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Hey, disease charm, that's money. Uh do I, I don't I didn't even want to equip this right now. There's there are a few enemies that can inflict disease here. But I don't think they're major enough for me to actually consider doing it unironically. Right. Just get that tiny heal. Uh. 7 to 14. 13. It's not bad. It's not perfect, though. Hey, look, he didn't score a 7. How much bleed resist does she have? She has a fair bit, if I recall correctly. Uh, 50, yeah. That's fine. Uh, you're taking 4 to the 4. Really, man. You know, if there's one skill I should be upgrading, it's sh Fuck you, man. Come on, really? If there's one skill I should be upgrading, it's like Play Grenade and the other one. Uh, Noxious Blast. Just anything that does damage over time or applies debuffs. There we go. That doesn't make up for it because that's a total of like six healing you've done. Okay. He's still not dead, by the way. He's gonna have one health after the damage over time works. Missed again. A Zealous would be pretty good right about now. There we go. That's gonna kill this one at least. And kill you. Me when I see four pelagic groupers. Their formation is broken. 
Somebody make that a meme and post it somewhere, I don't know. Do it for me. Your old boy Spartinian. Spardinian, I forget which one people call me. Right, one last heal. And then I'll just focus on smashing this dude down. It's five bleed damage. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by the stupid ambush mechanic, and I'm not sure whether that enemy will... Like, certain enemies have different amounts of turns. I'm not sure how much that one has. And I, I don't want to touch the clam. I think it's just gold you get anyway, and... Yeah, you need a shovel to interact with it correctly. Don't have those either. You must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. Hey, guess what? It's another torch. It's the tor the cove of torches. The light, the promise of safety. All right. You know the odds of that happening are uh, one in one hundred. I'd like to point out, because there's a ten percent chance of one resisting, and there's a ten percent chance of the other one resisting. So you stack them together. That was a one percent chance of happening. You need to kill the thrall first, though. Would have been nice if I could, uh, not have to waste a million turns doing it. How much damage does Zealous do? It should deal, yeah, 4 to 8. Miss completely. I need to get these things killed. Do not stun. I was about to say, if I, like, lose characters, because a fucking thrall exploded on me. I was going to be very angry. I'm still angry, but not as much. It's a shocking revelation. Right. Take a turn off that thing. I know the stinger has a lot of stun resist. So I do not expect... Come on, man. I can't even... I can't even stun right. Oh my god. You know, some people don't like Darkest Dungeon, and after certain fights like this one, you can start to see why. I mean, granted, I am using level 1 skills. So, there is method behind why I am failing so horribly. But, like, new players aren't likely to be the ones to upgrade all their skills immediately. Uh, I just get some stress healing. Anything that means I have to heal less stress later on? Fine by me. Four. Resist. Good, I say. Quite right. Right, he's dead. I can do whatever I want now. Try for crits. How much crit does this have? Five? It's a fair amount, actually. Hey, Reynolds, go before uh, this thing, will ya? Nope. No stress heal for me. Be wary. I like to think that I'm I just giving all of this, uh, a dizzying this gold to the heroes. It's like, okay, yeah, you get to keep all the gold, but we get all the heirlooms. In which case, we'd probably be bringing level 6 heroes right from the get-go, if it's like, oh, all the gold goes to us. Ah, uh, there's a madman. Hey, didn't get the, uh, cultist. Hey, hey, your rating is madman. If you get that reference, then you are... A good player of the Simpsons Road Rage. A decisive pummeling. Nice. Uh, it blights. He is dead. Next turn. Oh no, not next turn. The turn after. You get the point. All right. I want to kill this bitch before he does anything dangerous, and bleeds me again. Maybe I'll be blessed by the gods of RNG, and, uh, the madman will drop me the, whatchamacallit trinket, the 
One of the boxes. The crescendo box would be like the best. I will not be selling the crescendo box if I get it. It's just too good. It's literally the only box trinket that you will keep throughout the entire game and probably even use. Sure, it has a genuine power creep in the form of the Ancestor's Candle most of the time. But other than that, it's so good. Keep forgetting that uh, Noxious Blast removes accuracy. That never comes into play though. Right. Well, everyone's uh, stressed to shit, so I guess if I can stop one person from getting too much, that's just my goal. See, even with like negative 10 accuracy, you still hit. Wait, see? Oh, he's losing 4 dodge. I was wondering why he didn't have the torchlight buff. He did, he just cancelled out. Dun 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 dun. But a victory nonetheless. Yay! Oh, it's just gold. I thought those chests were supposed to contain heirlooms. Sorry, you're gonna have to bleed for a bit. And now, the dark hey, crests, good. Black as death. More heirlooms, maybe? Nope. Waste of uh, 25 gold. Get out of here. Well, time to go back to town, get my flagellant. The pungent odor abates. The things are driven by Book of Intuition isn't terrible, I guess, but it's, it's nothing spectacular. And look, the uh, Plague Doctor got a tapeworm. I may have to dismiss that Plague Doctor because it's uh, high stress, or mid to high stress, and has a disease. A wash in blood and delusion. He bears the burden of a thousand lifetimes. Quick draw flagellant is actually really good considering the fact that he can do a lot of garbage. Unquiet mind. Well, uh they're both pretty low stress now. Lost gasp, zephobia, evasive, mercurial? The hell is this flagellant? Mercurial doesn't really matter. Considering the fact that he can't virtue in the first place, so maybe I will take him. Uh, Warren's Tactician, Tipple, or Claustrophobia. He doesn't have Battle Ballad. That's a downside. A sure to be downside. And again, it's the only thing you need. Actually, you would need Inspiring Tune. Hmm. Fucking Tommy Wizand. Well, do I want to get rid of you? You are... you're fragile. You're psidiomania. You weren't particularly good. So, yep. Sorry. Goodbye. Those without the stomach for this place must move on. Reynold, I am very close to throwing you out. That Curious and the Kleptomaniac. I think the biggest problem there was the bloody... what's the name of it? Uh... The fact that I got too many torches there. Honestly, this Vestal is really annoying, but I have no other healer. And I, I don't want to remove Reynolds, because he's he has great sentimental value. I mean, hang on, does this? Yeah, this double removes uh, stress. Maybe I should invest in that. Whatever, I'm going to get another Flagellant, because they're powerful. There is power in the blood. For those with the fortitude to pay the price. I don't want this Hellion, actually. Get out of here. Send this one to journey elsewhere. For we have need of sterner stock. Right. I have 11,000 gold. I've officially hit the five-digit mark, which is good. Uh, I will, of course, yeah, be... Oh, yeah, I have no blueprints yet. There's a town event that gives you one blueprint, and when that happens, I'll be able to see what I need for the bank. I know what it is, it's like 50 portraits and a ton of gold. But let's see what we can do next time. Uh, bullseye bandana, not good. Well, it seems the antiquarian wants to be uh, in here. It's five deeds. I need portraits though. I am being offered no portraits. That's a shame. 
And the Necromancer would give me a Dark Tambourine, which I would not use. I'd rather get Trinkets I would use first. Do not need two Drifter's Buckles, that's completely unnecessary. But yes, I'll see you guys in the next video where I don't know what I'll be doing. Probably more cove runs, and then I'll wait until the Necromancer gives me a good thing, in which I'll take. Maybe it'll be a Focus Ring. Focus Ring will probably be the best thing I take. Yeah, 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 me. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.